A family still reeling after an accident this morning killed a Macon man at the Nishiha plant in South Macon. Abby Casares joins us live at the plant off Avondale Mill Road to tell us what happened and how people are remembering Willie Bonner. This is a photo of 59 year old Willie Bonner on it. It says I love my family and I talked to his family members today after he had an accident here at the Nijiha plant and later died. They say that they're choosing to remember him as the vibrant person he was. Nobody was a stranger to him. Anything he could do, he did it for you. No care who you were. That's how sisters Joanne Oliver and Ruby Bonner say they'll remember their brother, 59 year old Willie Bonner. They say he had just moved back to Macon after 30 years to spend time with his family and look for work. He was a good guy. He was loved. He had three kids. They yes. are not going to see their dad anymore. Coroner Leon Jones says Bonner was killed in an accident at the Nijiha plant off Avondale Mill Road. He says Bonner was knocked back by a robotic arm onto a conveyor belt and crushed by a machine. Jones says he died an hour later at Medical Center Navicent Health. When I see him, I just I hated to see him in that condition. His mother, Ruby Bonner, emotional after seeing her son in the hospital. I did see him laying up there. Them I hated to see. Oh, he's my son. I loved him. He only been here three months. And I won't see him alive again. His sisters tried talking to managers at the plant. No answers. No answers. No answers. And I'm not satisfied with that. The family says they're praying for help and a response from the company. Because my brother was at work. He went to work. For them. He's not coming home. Mm -hmm. I'm upset. Mm -hmm. I'm upset. Mm -hmm. I yeah. want answers. His family shared the last text he sent to them, reminding them of his love for them, saying today is a blessing. Tomorrow is never promised. Send this to everyone you love. Bonner worked for a temp service called Premier Staffing Unlimited. His family says that he got his job here at the Nijiha plant about a month ago. They say that they were concerned with his safety here. In Macon, Abby Casores, 13 WMAZ News. Willie Bonner's sister says she went to the plant to pick up his phone and was told company leaders were reviewing security tapes and talking to witnesses about what happened. We took a closer look at the Nishiha plant, which manufactures fiber cement panels. It opened in 2007 and more than 200 people work there. Records from the federal agency that investigates workplace accidents says Nishiha has paid more than $200,000 in federal fines. OSHA says the company also had a string of accidents that killed another person and caused at least half a dozen amputations. The first death happened in 2008, less than a year after Nishiha opened. In 2014, OSHA said they were putting Nishiha on their severe violation program for companies that commit willful repeat violations. Just a few minutes ago, Nishiha spokesman Jim Wiesty declined to comment on today's accident until the federal investigation is complete. He said they did make all changes requested by OSHA after the previous accidents, but did not give any details.